Good morning. Uh, welcome back. I think it's time. I think it's been a long time uh, since we did anything. It's time for a, a, a good old, good old fashioned vlog because it's it's been such a long time. And um, fun fact about this vlog, it's uh, not being filmed on my on my typical rig, which which is the R6. I'm not filming this on. I mean, the cutaway shots will be shot on the R6, but this vlog, for the most part. Completely shot on the EOS RP. It's not my camera. It's my friend's camera. I bought it to shoot a wedding and now we're gonna see how it just holds up in general like this camera here. What is it? I think it's like Just under two thousand dollars or compared to the R6 which cost about Four thousand dollars so almost half the price and Yeah, like I said before I shot a wedding with it So it's like do you really need to spend the extra two thousand dollars to get the R6 or even the R? An extra thousand for the R, half a thousand, I don't really know. The point is, can you get away with Canon's entry level full frame mirrorless camera, the EOS RP? Let's find out. Also, also, I, I like religiously only wear merch from comedians and things I'm a fan of, so like you'll see I'm wearing the Lewis Beers Death Row So Scare Me shirt and hoodie today. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it's just um, what I wear. I don't wear, don't wear normal clothes. <laughs> I wear merch. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to compare the EOS RP was because it's kind of like the M50 just upgraded. That's essentially what the RP is. For those who don't know, this is the Canon M50. It is one of the most popular mirrorless cameras out on the market. And I know this because I sell a lot of them at the camera store. So this is the M50. It's a lot smaller, as you can see, too. <laughs> the RP but the RP is also full frame mirrorless camera with a few more features than the M50 they both actually have a very similar design with like the flippy screen where you can flip out the screen ro rotate it and you know you got it for vlogging whatever both have a hot shoe microphone input this one's just a bit smaller like a well, not a bit smaller it's a lot smaller I mean yeah just uh, look at that, look at that size factor. And I think this is about half the price of the EOS RP. So, is it worth jumping up that $1,000? So is it like worth jumping up the $1,000 to get the RP over the M50? Like, do you, do you need to spend the extra money? Spoiler alert, completely not. But does it make it nice having a full frame camera, which is better in low light, 26 megapixels, USB-C, a slightly better battery, and it doesn't look as ridiculous when you adapt EF lenses, because that's what we're, what we're doing, because I have a few EF lenses, I've got a few RF lenses. Is that worth it? Because that is another another talking point, the, the mount, but we'll get into that much later. Uh, for now, we'll just uh, we'll get back into the vlog. Yeah, let's cue some B-roll, V-pop. Cue some B-roll. Oh, oh, right, yeah, I'm also using the Joby Gorilla Pod again, just because it's a lot cheaper than the Switch Pod, and I'm using the Rode Video Micro again, because it's cheaper than my big shotgun mic that I've got on the R6 right now. So, uh, how does it look? How does it sound? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. Yeah. Okay, now cue the B-roll. <laughs> Again, back it with the merch. That's all I wear. Peach Pirate Life. Back to using the Pro Tactic. Just uh, because I used it for the wedding, and I couldn't be bothered taking everything out of the bag to then just put it into another bag. So it's it's in here for now. Until I get my new bag. That would be a video. Ah, dropping off some goods. Some uh, tasty, tasty goods in here. Woo! Also, this isn't my car. It's uh, my mate Leo's because uh, my cars are having car problems. There's my car, right there. Just, just chilling. Just chilling, you know, because that's just what we do. Cool. Um, guess I, uh, guess I better head off. My phone, yeah. 
Should be good. Let's uh, let's attach, let's attach GoPro because uh, some of the GoPro is it's a DJI Osmo action. Same thing, really. Get some nice time lapse. Hyper lapse is going. Yeah, I think we'll do that. That'll be cool. Let's, let's Quick in and out job done. I'll go to the bank now and then I'll go see Nathan and Juan. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But yeah. Alright, so that's that done. Quick in and out job. Going to see Nathan and Juan now. You guys you guys like them. You guys will like them. Yeah, right, see you there. Oh, hey boy. Oh hey. <laughs> oh, I gotta take the ND off. Oh. <laughs> Hey man. How's it going? How you been? <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. You are, uh, oh, looks like you're doing some really intense Editing. color grading. Yeah, I haven't, yeah. I haven't really touched the, um, the curves yet. No. I just no. put this on the screen so it looks more impressive. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I can't do this. I can't lie like that. Do you, um, I was just changing the, um, Do you know how to read those scopes? Yeah, you can sort yeah. of, I, as you watch it, you can sort of see yeah. the skin tones coming through. Yeah, yeah, so you can see yeah. where people are sitting. So that's, yeah. And if you yeah, reference yeah. back to, yeah, no. mm. I was just wondering if you like new in general. Like this is. Yeah, I don't always use it, but it's good to have. Yeah. Um, sort of a way to look at things and to see where things yeah. are, are peaking and. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, it's a good good way to balance. I it. would. I, I can't be bothered doing it like this intense. I just eyeball it and go. Yeah, normally you looks can, good. <laughs> if you've got a good screen, you can yeah. be like, yeah. That's it looks right. pretty good, man. Yeah. Like, and then people watch it on their phone. They watch it on a shitty yeah. HD TV. You're like, there's yeah. no point. Doesn't matter. No. Unless you're blowing it up on a 4K ultra high definition HDR certified Adobe 10. I don't know. I don't Adobe know. 10. Adobe 10. What is it? What's on the screen one? Adobe oh, sound. Adobe has a screen. Adobe screen. Adobe does sound. Yeah. HDR 10. That's HDR 10. I swear there was like a certain. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> guys, this is Nathan. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Um, Nathan, do you have anything to plug? Uh, I guess Nathan Richmond Photographics is a brand, but like then that's competition with you, so. No, it's fine. It's um, a... no, not really. It's I've cool. got some prints that I'm gonna try and bring out soon, and maybe a YouTube channel. No, it's, I I can't decide. Just, I can't just, decide. What do I plug? Just, I'm not. Just remember, I get like three views on these videos, so you're not plugging much to anyone. Yeah, no, I just don't know what to plug. I'll hey, plug Peter. my I'll plug my Instagram. Oh, yeah. IQ Photographics. Yeah. yeah. Go, yeah. go, 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 follow. That's how they stand. <laughs> Say stand, hi. Stand and think. Oh, here's your thing. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, it's, did I even pack it? <laughs> That's going to be awkward. What is it? Here's your, um... Oh, hi. Yeah, cheers. I completely yeah. forgot about I, it. I, I, like... Oh, yeah, no, no, that's the whole reason why I'm here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, the whole reason why you're here, and I forgot about... It. Um, you think Juan would mind if I did some B-roll of his, of his place, just so I can, you know, really... I don't think so. I no? have to get some work done, so... Yeah, so you that's... get some work done. Yeah. I'll B-roll it. Um, and you can, guys can see what B-roll at 60p on the EOS RP, <laughs> nice, EOS RP looks like. Uh, we're going to use the 85mm lens because, ooh, tasty. So yeah, have fun. Let's uh, go. Let's, let's see how that looks. So that's a b-roll from the Canon RP. How did it look? It is only 60 frames a second, but you know, 60 frames a second into 24. What's that? That's like 
40 percent, 40 percent speed. I, it's been a while, man. I got used to shooting at, I got used to shooting at 120, and oh, it was really nice. But 60p still looks great because you know, 60p. Anyway, tell me how it looks. Of course I've got the ND, why would I not have the ND? It's so tall. Stop being tall man. It's a pain in my ass. I'm under exposure. <laughs> it's fine. I just I hate when I go inside with the ND. Because yeah. I can't just quickly take it off, put it in my back pocket. Yeah. I like the control ring. I saw what you did with that just now and now, yeah. I, now I can see use for it. You understand why? That's why I love the control ring, you just block it right there. You guys have talked this up a lot, so uh, first bite. Yeah. Just wait till you get like a piece of pork where the fat's just like juicy. Ooh. And a crispy crunch. Ooh. That is good. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> That's the response you wanted. That's good. Oh, yeah. I hope the video goes well. So do I. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Yeah. This could end up being a horrendous mess. A horrendous mess. Oh, is that recording? It is now. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, could be a horrendous, horrendous mess. Go get yeah. it by. Is yeah. that important? <laughs> Dude. Uh, um, yeah. Next bar me. No, oh, I will. I'm yeah. going back for another one. Is that good, guys? <laughs> yeah, it is that good. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, tell one I said hi. Oh. See you, See you, man. Oh, that's overexposed. That cow just got... <laughs> Yeah, there it is. See, look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. See ya. Have a good one. Drive safe. I will. Oh, always good to catch up. Oh, that's my phone. Always good just to see people that, you know, like-minded like you. That was Nathan. Go check him out on Instagram at, well, here. Met him, met him, met him through work, essentially, like photography, video work. And it's always just great to surround yourself with like-minded people like Nathan and Juan. Uh, who I didn't really get to see because he went off to try to a shoot photo shoot. So, yeah, that's um, that's that. Nathan and I are gonna make a video. Uh, what about? Could be anything. Probably be about uh, shooting with film though. That's that's probably what it's gonna be. Anyway, I'm gonna go get another one of those bar mints because oh, they were good. So yeah, let's go do that. <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, it's time to go give this back because, like I said, it's not mine. It's my friend's. I bought it for a wedding, and I decided to use it for the vlog, and and that's that's where that's where this ends. The relationship between me and the RP ends. It's just, uh... Okay, so let's talk about the RP for a second. Just real talk with you for a second. So I did use it like all today. For, for the vlog that you watched today, except for this, this is now being shot on the EOS R. I don't think I even turned on log mode back on, so this is kind of just like a one-to-one, -one, if you will. So this is video straight out of the EOS R6, and, you, and what you were just watching, it's video straight out of the RP. So, how did it look? Does it hold up well? Shot up both at 1080, at 24 frames a second, except for the B-roll sequences, they were shot at 60, because, you know, the RP doesn't do 120, but I think it I think it holds up well. I mean, the battery life was a little hit or miss. I, I felt like I was getting to the end of a bat a day, end of the day with less battery than I would with the R6, but I normally also use a battery grip with the R6, so that might have, that might be playing into it a little bit more too. So the battery grip with the two batteries, you know, doubles the battery life. Well, you've only got the one, what is it? The LPE17 battery for the RP just doesn't seem as durable. Doesn't seem to last as long, but it did still last me all day, and I had the second battery, which we always recommend that you uh, have two Two batteries on you. Paired with the 16 to 35 EF lens with the control ring mount adapter, uh, just my lens that I use for all my vlogging. 
this is it. I think it looks nice. I think that if you can save a little bit more on the camera body and then pair it with some nice L-series lenses, such as this 16 to 35 or this 24 to 105 mil lens f4 you can get some pretty stellar results and like i said i used it for a wedding shoot so that's like that's a professional job i'm using it for and it held up with the r6 very well the only downside i'd say that the rp has is again the battery life and the continuous frame shooting per second i go that's the only downside i would have as a video content creator it's fine i would like to have log but you can get that you're just paying more for it i would like to have 120p but you can get that you're just paying more for it and 60p still looks great like if you go back and watch that b-roll it looked really good still and that's because partly because i know what i'm doing with the b-roll i shot 60p before for a long time and i made it work and it works so do you need to spend the extra money on something that's gonna give you a few extra features a few extra bells and whistles uh, that's 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 for you to decide for me. It's worth the upgrade I like having the in-body image stabilization to make the photos and foot footage just a little bit more stable I like having the two SD card slots now. Uh, it's not a big issue But I like having photos right to one card and I like having the video right to the other card So I don't have to don't have to it means less sorting out later on in post But you don't need the two SD cards. It's just a, it's a luxury thing kind of like you don't need Canon log three but it's a nice to have you don't need 4k but this 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 4k i i have never shot with a 4k on it before actually but yeah you don't need all these nice bells and whistles of the r6 the r5 and even the r has if you are just getting into photography or filmmaking the rp is going to serve you very well the autofocus is still great the autofocus tracking is still great it is 26 megapixels it does 1080p at 24 and 60 frames a second there's not much more you could want from this camera. There, it really isn't. And you can set it up as a webcam through the EOS Utility app. You can pair the nice lenses with it and still get great images. You can put on a nice boom mic or even go go small with the Rode Video Micro. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts on the RP. I might make an extended video about it later, but just for now, those are my thoughts. If this is the only camera you can afford, and but you really want to, you have a passion, a video making passion or a photography passion you want to unleash this will be more than enough like it'll be heaps it's still full frame you still got access to the RF mount with the new glass that they're coming out for the RF mount stellar I'm using the f2.8 lens the 16 mil prime because it's just small light compact and it's amazing it costs five hundred dollars the 800 millimeter I think that's what that's just under two grand so if you want to get into wildlife photography with an 800mm lens, the RP, that's like three and a half thousand, which, you know, it's not not a lot of money, but compared to the $22,000 that the 800mm RF L series glass cost by itself, it's a pretty pretty good deal. Yeah, that's uh, those are my honest thoughts. I think the RP is definitely worth it. I personally, would like to have C-Log and a few more video centric features so I will be springing the extra money for the R6 or the R5 or even the R that has log so but yeah those are just my thoughts on the RP again might make a video about it might not who knows anyway this is my second bar min roll and I'm gonna go finish and enjoy it oh, it's so good. <laughs>